Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Sassy Funke and I'm a Nigerian travel and lifestyle vlogger and blogger based in Lagos, Nigeria. If it's your first time, please, please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and also don't forget to hit the little bell notification button beside it. This basically ensures that you are the first to be notified of my content when it comes out. So make sure you do that. This particular video was basically inspired from my Snapchat followers because I put a lot of fitness, you know, I'm always, I'm actually a gym freak, like a fitness freak. I'm just so into healthy eating and everything like that, even though that's not what majority of what I normally put on my channel is about. It's because of all these requests, I'm going to be trying to put more fitness oriented, healthy living things on my channel. So you guys let me know what you think about it. If you enjoy it, or if you think no, 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 you know, just let me know. So I'm just trying this out. So just bear with me for now. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 10 things that I actually do to lose weight and basically keep weight off. Bear in mind that I have not always been this size. Um, number one, meal prep. I meal prep all my meals. So on a Sunday, for example, I'll cook a lot of meals and I will literally put them into like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday boxes so that I have meals for the next couple of days. And also one thing I do for snacking is in Nigeria, I love this because fruits are so cheap. I go maybe spend a thousand naira on like huge amounts of fruit and I cut them into pieces and I ziplock them. I put them in the freezer. And when I'm really like, oh, hungry, I basically make a smoothie out of them. Super cheap, super easy. So I don't really get crazy out of the box craving. So meal prepping, I think, is my number one thing that I do that helps. Number two, I always have breakfast. Breakfast for me is such an important meal of the day because it does really help keep my energy level up. And some of the things I eat for breakfast, I eat oatmeal a lot for breakfast. So like a lot of whole grain oatmeal with like skimmed milk. And I tend to use sweetener rather than sugar. And also for breakfast, I tend to also have brown bread or wholemeal toast with peanut butter and a boiled egg on top. Number three, to really help with portion control, I tend to use small plates, so not the large plates, more like the side serving plates to serve my meals. Number four, I always have healthy snacks at home, whether that be peanuts, you know, granuts, or number five, I always try to make sure I have a water bottle with me. A water bottle with water in my car, in the house, constantly have water with me. Six. Number six, I always incorporate vegetables in my meals. So for my lunch and dinner, I always tend to have half of my plate tends to be always be vegetables. So regardless of what I put on the other side, half of the plate is always vegetables. And I think this is a great way to obviously control in terms of carbs in your body. And yeah, just half of it, just think half is vegetables and you'll be good to go. <laughs> Number seven, I work out. So whether that is you know, running, playing tennis, swimming a little bit because I can't swim that well or actually just doing home workout like home workout videos there's so many amazing videos on YouTube that you guys could basically just keep playing and try new ones that you never get bored there are millions of them online I'm gonna put a few of the links that I the ones that I follow that are very effective and I try and work out at least five times a week I try to do it seven times but I think five times is enough for most people to do it and I think also tell yourself even if you're tired even if your workout is only 10 minutes I aim for at least 30 45 minutes a day but if you can't just make sure you commit to say you know what five times a week I'm gonna do it and that's what I do that's what I do and a lot of people I know lose weight and without working out and whatever but honestly in terms of actually having a very healthy body that is not just all like flabby because you're just losing the weight naturally. I actually think it's important that you work out. Number eight, oh my god, I avoid deep fried foods like plantain in oil or you know jollof rice in oil, like really oily food or puff puff, just anything that is oily, I avoid it. Because honestly, these things contain crazy calories. If you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle, 
you need to avoid eating these things and being Nigerian is tough. Number nine, a decision I made to make healthy living an actual lifestyle. So I don't do diets whereby like, you know, I stop eating carbs, or I stop eating this or that. I literally say, you know what, I'm gonna make it a lifestyle. So these aren't rules for a short time. It's literally, this is the way I've chosen for my life to, to live my life. So all the things I mentioned before, I stay consistent with them. So number 10, and my final tip on how I lose weight, is that I actually treat myself. I treat myself to junk food once a while because I know the reality is that deep down there's an inner fatty in me that actually loves Ben and Jerry's, that actually loves, you know, pizza, Domino's pizza. Like, I love all these things. So I let myself have maybe once every two weeks, not all the time, to have like a sugar rush or a pizza. I think when I do that, I don't crave it when I go outside. But I just make sure whenever I eat this junk, I never buy it and put it in my house. I eat it outside so that I never have it at hand. So I think it's important to ensure that whatever is in your surrounding, in terms of your home, where you are most of the time, is good food. So yes, guys, that is it. That is how I basically lose weight and how I keep fit. I hope it's really helped you guys. And if you have any questions or anything, make sure you comment below and tell me any questions that you have. I hope you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.